It's scary out here for a black woman. That's just the truth. Hi, hello, it's me, Tarby. and welcome or welcome back to my channel uh today is june 15th um i think i look nice today but um and here comes the sun to ruin it i was going to attempt to go ahead and film uh, my pinterest video um i don't know if that'll be up before or after this vlog but today is monday and i'm about to go run some errands um i figured i'd do that while i look nice and then the sun keeps doing that thing yeah, it's pretty cloudy. Over there is pretty, but over here isn't. Some things that I want to pick up from Walmart. Um, and then uh, hopefully the sun will have calmed down and the clouds will have calmed down to give adequate lighting so I can take these pictures. I have my new-ish tripod. I got this about a month ago and it's come in handy. So. Please don't fall. Okay, so yeah, um, it is an Amazon Basics tripod. And this is what it condenses down to, so. Let's see, this, because I, I have yet to find a, um, a filming setup, a spot that works in the car every time I get to move in the camera gets following I think I gotta test out turns hey this might this might work alright so so yeah I I'm going out because I want to specifically I tried these um Also a couple other stuff I need so I'm gonna get that too and then while I'm out I also want to I want another wig I know I just posted a wig video about this wig and it's curly but honestly I really do think I look I mean I love my natural hair which I don't have anymore because I cut it but I do think I look best with straight hair not saying that I would ever relax my hair again, um, but a nice straight wig no, never hurt nobody. So I'm going to go, and I don't want to spend money like I spent on this, on a straight wig, because honestly the wig that I got for my high school graduation was straight. It was homemade by my cousin and it was synthetic and it worked great. I loved that wig for several months. I think almost like a full year that we lasted but yeah no whatever so i'm going to stop at a hair supply store and try to find like the pack where they have a couple of bundles and then a closure but it's all synthetic hair so i can make my own straight wig unless i have a good straight wig i'll, I'll look for a straight wig as well but yeah I've shown that in the vlog before, 
study abroad that got canceled and turned into an online class somehow. Um, I'm missing two assignments from that because honestly, COVID and having to go back home so quickly and home not being a very good work environment or education environment, I found it very hard to do my homework. I still find it hard to do homework and focus and I couldn't, if I would have been able to leave and go to a library to sit down and do some work, that would have helped, I promise, but they were all closed and I think most of them are still closed according to online, so I just want to graduate. I just want to graduate college. I've done the whole hoopla, I've taken the pictures, but I just want my degree to be conferred. And um, if push comes to shove, I will not be attending school during the fall 2020 semester. I'm not doing it. I will drop out of school before I attend. If, if, I will, I'll drop out before I continue working on this one bachelor's degree in fall 2020. And I know there's nothing wrong with taking more time for a degree, but I'm not, I'm tired. So tired of existing and existing seemingly for the purpose of school. I was re-watching some of It's Taylor Janet's um, videos today while I was getting ready. Um, shout out to Taylor. Hey girl. Um, I was re-watching some of her college videos and I think it was one of her, it was while she was in her internship um, somewhere, I think Virginia, but she was talking about back to school season and it hit me that I'm not going to experience that this time around. I, I'm not going to experience that back to school excitement. And I would love that ever since, like, pre-K. I've been going to school for 17 years straight. My Most of my identity has come from school. And I'm not going to
COVID has, COVID has not calmed down, but the United States has calmed down about COVID. So how are y'all readjusting into society? Like, how, how are y'all feeling? Like, what, what do you have going on for you? Tell me, tell me something good in the comments, because it's, it's a lot going on. Um, obviously, I mentioned it in a couple other videos that's already up. The Black Lives Matter movement, obviously, I'm black. Um, and then there was also like a big resurgence of sexual, uh, sexual assault victims, um, like support. That, there's a large influx of that on my Twitter timeline, at least. And it kind of spilled over to Instagram, but not much. Um, that happened like two weeks ago. And um, the recent murder of um, Toyin, I think it's pronounced. Um, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce her full person. But um, the rec her recent murder, they found her body yesterday, I believe. And everybody's talking about it today. And it's like, it's so much going on mentally. It is so, hey, it's so hard to focus on what you have going on so I've said it before um but I really need to take my own advice but like take a break from social media because it gets to be a lot it's a lot to digest and it's like people like me people who look like me black women are fighting so many battles all the time um i'll probably i don't remember who exactly said it or who wrote it but i'll look it up the conclusion is that some of us are brave and basically it's saying that black women have to survive both racism and the patriarchy at all times there will never be a point in my life where i stop being black and from what I know, there'll never be a point in my life where I stop being a woman. And existing in both of those realms is scary. Also, I'm at Walmart. But yeah, existing in both of those realms at all times gets scary. I have a taser in my bag at all times. It is scary out here for a black woman. That's just the truth. This is a 10 minute long clip. Jesus. But I am at Walmart. I didn't mean to talk for that long. This isn't exactly the same filming setup, but I'm just now leaving Walmart. I'm not gonna get Popeyes. No, I don't feel like stopping. The line is wrapped around the building. Um, but I am I got going on today. Yeah. I need a new do-rag. I'm low-key starting to rethink getting Pelican. I'm like two blocks away. But if I, because I usually get watermelon, strawberry, peach flavor. And in total, that just comes out to a bunch of red. If I get red on this shirt before I get to take pictures in it, I'm mad. I am itching to go into the mall so bad. Not even to buy anything. I just want to walk around and people watch. And even though I'm by myself, I don't care. So I may or may not just go to the mall to walk around. To see and be seen. drive-through situation even though this building does not have drive-through windows but it works um, am I, okay so if i'm going to go to the mall i should get a smaller one but if i'm not i want the bigger one i think i'm gonna go to the mall and um if this gets 
messed up before I can get a good picture, I will just push back when that video gets filmed completely. Um, and I'll just have to watch it. But this is one of my favorite shirts. This is Titanic. Where did I get this shirt from? I think this shirt is from H&M. darker than what it already is and the mall has skylighting so if it get darker because of the skylighting it's not going to look good for pictures so Still gonna try to get a picture. Still gonna go to the hair store. I'm not gonna go to the mall. Hello. Can I get a large Georgia peach pineapple? Mm -hmm. You can get the change. Mm -hmm. Georgia peach pineapple is my jam. I know I said that I used to get the peach. What is it? Drink the peach. Watermelon. Mm, next time I'll get one with watermelon. But the pineapple been slapping lately. So, so I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna eat some of it. And then I'm gonna try to get pictures at the hair store. Well the hair store parking lot. That that's what's going on in my mind. It's usually, it's a really big parking lot, so it's usually pretty empty. Thank you. You too. Home girl snuck up on me. Don't you love when your steering, your new steering wheel cover matches your snack? But yeah, I haven't eaten today besides... Besides when I had those soup dumplings for lunch. Having you today. I guess I'll check back in when I get to the, the hair store. There's really no need to film when I'm not doing anything. So, um, I'll check in when I get there. All right, so I've made it to the hair store. I think they only have people coming in and out of one entrance. They have two, but I don't know. So I'm going to go in there. Good news, bad news. Good news is that I didn't drop any of my um, snowball. This man is outside begging. I didn't drop any of my snowball on my shirt, so I can still take pictures. Bad news is I don't think I want to take pictures out here, over here. Um, it's a lot busier than usual. So I think I'm just going to go get what I need, go home, get my tripod, and then go to the park so I can take pictures. This is what the weather is looking like. It's, it's still iffy. So I think I may be able to go to the park. Jesus. <clears throat> but yeah. Finally putting my phone on the tripod like it's supposed to be. I don't even know if y'all can hear me through this. Feels good outside, but it definitely feels like it's about to rain.
so I was in there for high key a long time. It's 6.30 now. But um, I I went in there for the little the, the straight hair or whatever and a do rag. And I think, I think they are leaving this location because it's so discombobulated and I'm out of breath because I got hot. Um, but I think they're packing up and like moving to another location or closing down or something because it's awful in there. This is not like my regular location or anything because I don't have a regular location. I don't come to the beauty supply very often. Unless I just need super, something super cheap. But so I didn't get any of the straight hair because I couldn't find what like I saw one pack and it was like blonde it was like blonde wavy and it was exactly what i was looking for but it was on the floor and i walked around the whole store trying to find the brand because if i found the brand i could find other varieties and options but i couldn't find the brand anywhere on the shelf so that's when i turned and started looking for new durags because this black one has a hole like right here and it's time for a new one so i got a new black but then I also wanted a yellow, a blue, I have plans for the blue one, and a pink one just to be girly. Um, you know, so I got four do-rags. I wanted the, um, I wanted the velvet ones, but they had like the little security thing on the hanger so you couldn't like take it off without asking for help and i don't like asking for help because no i got some more got to be um i had two of the yellow ones from a long time ago and i just never used them but since i've actually been wearing this wig and applying it um i've learned that using this one is um the clear one is good um i had the small one i was gonna get another small one but i'm like if i'm gonna continue to wear this wig i should probably just go ahead and buy the full size and then I found these royal blue shorts. Um, I saw this girl on TikTok. She was doing a sheet in haul. She, um, she got this black black t-shirt that said Brooklyn and royal blue letters. Um, and she had these blue biker shorts and she got them from Shein. And so when um, I was like, I want that exact outfit. So I went to Shein and I got the shirt but the shorts didn't come in any plus sizes. Um, all the plus size biker shorts were like black or tie dye orange. Um, and I didn't want that. So I figured I'd just give up, but then I found those in the store, so lovely. And then I got a new box dye um, for whenever my hair gets long enough to go ahead and dye again. So now I'm gonna go home. I'm not gonna go to the park to take a picture. I'm just gonna try to do it in my yard. Um, the sun has started, not started to set, but it's like not above anymore. So maybe I'll be able to get better lighting. Yeah. I'm gonna take a guess at some point, but I'm not doing that today. Gas hand hasn't moved yet. Maybe I do need to get gas. One good bump and this is tumbling that way. I think the next thing I need to order from Amazon is a car mount because I can't keep vlogging like this because I do vlog in the car and record, record in the car. I can't have my stuff just everywhere and not focus on me.
Probably already cooked sitting in the trunk. Gas being back up to 199 a gallon when it was like 129 a gallon less than two months ago doesn't sit right with me. So yeah, turns out that there was still like four gallons of gas. More like five, it was like five gallons of gas still in my tank, but the gas hand was saying that it was empty. So that's what I mean by like it's broken, it's pretty unreliable. And you would think, I mean, yeah, I know my car, but I also haven't really been driving my car for obvious reasons, so. And then sometimes when I do drive, I don't go far, so I don't really pay attention to how often I'm going when it's not far. So, I arrived home. I feel like this. Let me, let me I'm gonna take all my stuff in the house, put this frozen stuff in the freezer quickly, and then come out and take a picture. So this is the new do-rag. This is the style I'm going for for the picture. I need to reapply my lip product. I look, I actually need to reapply some powder. as soon as I'm ready to take pictures. The sun isn't hidden anymore. It's behind some clouds. But it does feel good. We really cool actually. Are you already know what she wants? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to like everything. I can tell you about it. Oh, well, yeah. Back in Walmart. Because my mom got some money. And she want to actually grocery shop now. They got them in the boxes. Not dope. Oranges. That's what oranges is. 
Yeah, oh, that's a navel. But these, they still seem small. Which one? The one right here. Which one is the navel armor? This right here said navel from editing tyra i don't think i've ever heard my actual country accent in a video because i don't talk like that on camera so enjoy this disgustingness of my natural accent but they look small they don't look so this it says mandarin but that's in okay. English, so that ain't supposed to be there oh, these are i don't want to make pictures like that I want the ones that's good. Them the same size. See right here? Yeah. Uh, right here. I'm gonna get these. That's the same size as this. No. Uh-uh. That's all right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna get these right here. These are, uh, these, I think these navels too. I think. Y'all should have me fishing for watermelon. You gotta get some bread. Walmart's still closing early. I know, right? Let me talk to the manager. <laughs> So this is me. Cute. Um, trying on the new do rag with the Brooklyn shirt I was talking about, and the shorts fit very well. I was afraid because they only had like medium smalls, and then this one is an, an, a large, extra large. Fits perfectly. And this is still much earlier than I'm usually winding down. Usually I'm like hopping into four. I'm in bed, but I'm usually not asleep until 2 a.m. But you know, I um, had a full day. Makeup looks kind of trash, but it's been all day. And um, got babysitting in the morning, you know, uh, I think 8 a.m. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just, at this point, I'm just putting away my laundry. Um, like I mentioned before, I was watching, binge watching um, a lot of Taylor's old videos um, just because, you know, it's something to watch. I enjoy supporting, get those few, few count up, you know. But yeah, I will check in. But yeah, I'll probably check back in tomorrow if I remember to do so. So, good night. Subscribe.